The Treasure Act in Scotland is so vastly different from the UK. According to their laws, the original finder is the one that keeps everything. So if one individual finds two million pounds worth of treasure, does he morally, do you think, owe it to give 50% to the landowner? To be part of the team, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so we can continue the journey forward together. Well, Derek McLennan, a metal detectorist in Scotland, also had a friend who was a member of the church who gave him permission. Well, Derek McLennan was a Scottish metal detectorist. He had a friend who was a member of the church. I need a pee. Oh, come on. That's four times I've tried to record this bit. Well, Derek McLennan, a Scottish metal detectorist, had a friend who could give him some permission to dig on church land because he was a member of the church. He was also a metal detectorist. So how would you feel if you'd have been that man in the church who'd given him that permission when Derek found two million pounds worth of treasure and you didn't give a penny to your other friend or to the landowner, which is really one and the same thing. How would you feel about that? This has hit the national press. This is about two, three, four years old, this story, but it's just hit the national press this month because they had a written agreement between them. So the church have now issued a summons to take Derek McLennan to court. Is that right? Is that wrong? What do you think? Well, now my friends have all stopped peeing on the coil and having a poop and a pee when I'm trying to record. I think it's about time we got going today. I'm using Medeus again and the X35 11 inch coil. I'm going to use the usual program that I use, which is a version of Gary's Ultimate. Just look it up or search my channel for my version of Gary's Ultimate. The difference really is only that I have full tones rather than Gary's three tones. And I've been here years ago when I first started maybe for the first 18 months I hit this solidly but I was a, very much a novice then still learning I didn't find much I freely admit so I've come back to have another look there's a lot of foil on here and my guess is that's what I'm going to be finding today but I did have one hammered right over there and it was underneath a cow tube you might remember that video look can you stop doing that they're burping now. Um, yeah, I was underneath the cow tube, so I, I hit this signal with the cow tube. Before I filled the hole in, I checked the hole, and there was a little tiny hammered. So, always check your holes, you never know. Let's get going. And we're off. A cow tube. And it's got the bit at the top missing, which means I'm probably going to find that bit too. That's a nice sound. 88, it's beautifully clean bright tone it doesn't mean it's anything good but that's the sort of tone that you should be listening for there's no grunts or breaking of a tone anywhere at all so let's dig this up i'm not an expert when it comes to holding the camera with one hand and digging with one but i'll do my best just a little hole six inches square it's not too deep because it's quite a loud signal if anything, it's probably a larger target rather than deeper, or shallow rather. Yeah, it's not in the plug. That does sound nice, doesn't it? Okay. Let's see. Oh no. Oh, what's that? I don't know, it's aluminium, it's very very light, very light, aluminium, aluminium always sounds like that, but you can't say oh that's aluminium, you just can't tell, you've got to dig it, and one day you'll be pleasantly surprised, and it wasn't that deep either, so at least I won't be finding that one again. The last time I was here, five years ago, and I was here for 12 to 18 months on and off. There was deep snow where the walls and the corners meet, the stone walls, where the sheep all shelter from the weather. 
and there's a big dip in the corner of the field as well so in areas it's above me it was cold anyway let's get back digging to help you identify any Roman or Hammered coins, please see these posters I have for sale and my own designed t-shirts. Also my coin hat key rings and of course my finger rings made from silver coins I've dug up myself or have been donated to me. Please see my Etsy store for more information. Well that's my latest find. Now do you know what that is? Go on I'll give you a couple of seconds just to have a guess. I'll give you a clue. Just there. How's that? Now, do you know what it is? Yeah, it's a bull nose ring. I have found some lovely stainless steel ones too, but they're generally in this condition if they're not stainless steel. Doesn't that sound lovely? 83 on the visual display. Right, let's get my probe. And my knife. There it goes. Oh, please be something nice. Oh, I can see it. A piece of gold foil. Told you. Hey, up. What's this? It. Tag. Now, can we see anything on there? It may be blank. I may have to take that back and clean it to see if I can find anything. Well, it looks to be blank that side, which means there might be something this side. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Let me see if I can get a picture of that. Looks good. I'll have to do a snapshot with me phone and zoom in. I oh, seems to have got it. It's a pet called Buck. Probably a dog. Tarn House Farm. Keithley. And a telephone number. This might be an opportunity to get a new permission. I'm certainly going to try. Let's see what happens. The number you have called is not recognised. Please check the number and dial again. Bummer. The number you have called is not recognised. OK, I'm going to have to do some research. I think before I do that, though, I'll take this home and see if I can do something with it. And if I can just find out where they live, if the farm still exists, go knock on the door and give it to them. It might work, it might not. Who knows, unless you try. Wish me luck. Oh well, I'm back to the aluminium cow tubes again. I found my first coin. Now don't get too excited. It's a decimal half penny. Tiny little thing which was abandoned from our British currency several years ago. Hmm. Oh, hang on. It's a coin. It's a threepence. An old threepenny bit. Oh, yes it is. And it's got the um, thrift plant rather than the portcullis. So, if you can see that on there. That's called the thrift plant. And that indicates which monarch it is. So that's Queen Elizabeth's father, George VI. Oh, the probe's making a noise. I wonder what that was. Okay, so that's two coins. I'll tell you what, I think I'll make a coin ring from this as well. So I'm going to get ready now and drive home and get that dog tag all prepared. So while I'm doing that, let's nip over very quickly and do the draw for last week's coin hat keyring.
and if you entered good luck to you if you haven't entered this is your first time you've never heard of it before all you've got to do is to leave a comment about this video but also include the hashtag coin hat giveaway and you could be winning one just like this next person good luck well here's some really good news I've just taken the tag which I put on a key ring cleaned it all up nicely and when I got there I realized that's where I was two years ago asking for permission and I got a right flea in my ear definite no this time I've got a yes I actually went and got a yes okay let's get on to it now the important bit the pick a winner for the coin hat giveaway from last week's video as I mentioned you need to enter with the hashtag coin hat giveaway spelt like this with the hashtag no other spelling will count because that's what I'm searching for so no other variations will count good luck to you if you entered Ian Osland well done mate yay well done to you don't forget to contact me you'll find the link in the video description on how you can do that and I'll get it in the post to you right away and if you've not subscribed yet then please don't be a stranger click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified when I load my next video. You never know, it could be you next. Steven is a man with a passion, a metal detector.